Hi! In the last video, we will talk about how to device a switch into three different sections. Here we got a 24 port PoE switch. We can device this port into three different sections. The device, like the IP camera, access point, if they're connecting to different sections, they're not going to see each other. Let's say if the camera just connecting to the session one, and the access point connecting to the second session. If the people access your network through the Wi-Fi, it's not going to see the live video from the camera. It's very useful too to manage the device within the switch. Basically, we use the VLAN technology. The VLAN, just like the room, we create three different rooms, three different VLAN. And we also give each of the VLAN with the number, like the first room is 101, the second room is 102, the last one is 103. Then we assign some of the port to each of these room. It would be easy if we just had the like a single switch, right? But what if we have multiple switch? Imagine we have second switch play in the second floor. This is on the first floor. We got the cameras on both floor. And we also want to keep the VLAN 101 for all the cameras. But remember, the VLAN will not allow them to see each other. So in this case, we need to set up some of the port, allow the VLAN 101 to pass through to reach to the another switch. Now, let's move to the demonstration and see how we can set up the port, allow the VLAN to pass through. This is the whole system. At the edge, we have the industry grid PoE switch. This is the power supply is providing the power, DC power to this switch. I have devised this switch into two different sections, VLAN 101 and VLAN 102. Now the camera, the IP camera is connecting to the VLAN 101. And the access point, this is the access point, is connecting to the VLAN 102. When the people access the Wi-Fi through this access point, he's not going to see the camera because they stay in different VLAN, just like different room. Now the problem comes up. We need to connect this edge switch to another switch in the center. Now the network video recorder also connecting to this switch. But we don't see the live video. The reason is because we have devised this switch into two different VLANs. VLAN 101 and VLAN 102. They don't see each other. So the data cannot pass through this link, the fiber optic cable, and reach to the second switch. Now the solution is you need to set up the trunk port. Like this port we need to configure it as trunk port. With the trunk port, we can allow whatever VLAN data you have to pass through it. So that means, no matter what kind of VLAN, VLAN 101, 102, they can pass through this fiber optical link and go to the, jump to the second switch. Of course, we also need to configure another side this port as the trunk port. So the first thing is we need to build a trunk link between these two switches. The one more thing we do miss is just, we also need to configure this port. 16 port is connecting to the network re video recorder to VLAN 101. Otherwise, even the data coming from the first switch with the VLAN 101, uh, it arrives at the second switch, but it cannot pass through port 16 because it doesn't belong to VLAN 101. So there are two things to do. First, just build a chunk link between these two switch. Second thing, configure the target port as the VLAN 101. Okay, now let's just move to the map board and configure this switch as this port as the chunk port. First, let's just log into the console of the switch. I'm going to use I'm going to use the command line. If you're not familiar with the command line, you can reference my another video how to connect the MacBook to the switch. And we will use the screen command. This is the name of my converter, and here is the portrait. I click enter. Now the username is at the mean. The password also at the mean. And the, first, let's just show the VLAN. See what we have set up. You can see we have VLAN 101 and VLAN 102. And the port number 2 belongs to the camera, port number 8 is connecting to the access point. Okay, now let's, it's okay with that, now let's just move to the uplink port. And use the config. Now we need to cho choose the uplink port, it's the 12. And we would like to set it as trunk. So switch the command switch port. Access switch port mode trunk, and we also need to tell this port this test switch this trunk port allow all the VLAN to pass through. Switch port trunk access allowed 
VLAN all. It will allow all the VLAN pass through. Okay, because I have I have created a set same setting on the second switch. So now once I just key in the command, we see in the live video. Because I have done that be before I make the video, it's just try to save time. Basically the same operation we need to perform on the second switch. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.